Hi, my name is Roshni Jain, and I'm a resident physician at the University of Illinois, Chicago. My mentor is Dr. Adam Michalogian. We'll be discussing polycystic liver disease. To understand this disease, we must first understand what a cyst is. A cyst is a closed sac-like structure that can be located anywhere in the body and is filled with any fluid or substance. Polycystic liver disease occurs when multiple fluid-filled cysts develop within the liver. This is not a common disease. It affects just a fraction of people across all populations. Polycystic liver disease is an inherited disease caused by mutations in genes. Genes are made up of DNA and comprise the blueprints for our bodies. Mutations are abnormalities within those genes. In polycystic liver disease, the mutations are autosomal dominant, meaning that only one defective copy, as opposed to two, needs to be inherited from a biological parent to develop the disease. The most common mutations are in the PKD1 and PKD2 genes. These mutations are found in autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, which also has multiple kidney cysts. Only about 20% of people with polycystic liver disease develop symptoms. Symptoms occur when cysts push on nearby structures and lead to symptoms like abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, poor appetite, heartburn, shortness of breath, and lower back pain. Polycystic liver disease caused by autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease can also be associated with problems outside of the liver, like issues with heart valves, brain aneurysms, pancreatic cysts, or hernias, amongst other conditions. Other types of polycystic liver disease affect just the liver. This disease is diagnosed when multiple cysts, at least 10 to 20, are seen in the liver on an ultrasound, CT, or MRI scan. Most times, cysts are accidentally discovered when an imaging study is ordered for a different reason. Only those with symptoms need treatment for polycystic liver disease. All therapies aim to decrease the size of the liver cysts, which can then lead to less symptoms and improved quality of life. There are several treatment options for polycystic liver disease, including medications, destruction of large cysts, surgical removal of part of the liver, and liver transplantation. Your doctor will work with you to determine which treatment plan is best for you. We'd like to conclude by sharing a real-life MRI image of a liver with severe polycystic liver disease. This image is in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. The white areas in this image represent cysts. Thank you for your time, and I hope we've helped to demystify polycystic liver disease.